best in original talk radio broadcasting on the Internet. It's L.A. Talk Radio. We say what we want. Here we go. Here we go. Are we okay? This is L.A. Gen X with Jason, Gina, and Jeff. One musician, two actors, three 30-somethings chasing the dream. Live from Los Angeles. Welcome to LA Gen X with Jason, Gina, and Jeff. Everything in and out of Hollywood. We're live at 818-602-4929. Stop it. Stop I'm sorry. It. Can I ask, what, what was that? Was that like I, an exercise? I was stretching was my that? mouth. It's just, I, I've been talking so much this week. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Hey, Halloween's coming up. Actually, before we get to this, uh, we do have a director coming in to talk about a brand new supernatural thriller. This Rocky! Is good time for Halloween. Yeah. Uh, the movie Amherst coming out, so we'll talk to him in just a little bit. All right, we want to welcome to the studio Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. Rocky's got a movie. <laughs> hey, Rocky guys. Costanzo from Hourglass Pictures. Thank you. And you've got a movie coming out now. It's called Amherst. Yes, and, and I actually brought copies for everyone. Look at this everyone. packaging. Oh, very good. Rocky, this is Thanks, a, it's very yeah. scary. It's like the the face of a child almost in fire in the background in a, in a forest. What it was is we found this doll head one day, um, just a doll head, and it freaked. It freaked me out big time. So, <laughs> and You're like, Let's I, make a movie. Yeah, and we I didn't know how we were gonna throw it into the movie, but it actually became the icon for the movie. But did you find did you find the doll head later and think, oh shoot, I forgot to put that in? No, no, no. We found it early on, and the script was already done. And I just it was so freaky looking. I'm like, we have to throw this in somewhere. So we found a, a perfect spot in the film to throw it in there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and well, it just became the the like I said, the icon of it. So how did you? How long did this movie take to make Amherst? It took. We were, we filmed up in Big Bear. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. and uh, is we, it scary up there? Scary yeah, enough? Yeah, it can be. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we, we found this uh, this house. I don't want to call it a cabin because it was really a, like a house, and apparently it was really haunted. There was some backstory going on, and the interesting thing about this film is that the cast and crew we all stayed there. We were so it was a really close group. We we spent the night at that house. Oh, that's cool. And, yeah, it's about the only way we can we can get all of our filming done. Did you guys try and freak each other out once you found out it was? Uh, well, I think the house kind of did it by <laughs> yeah! itself. Oh, there really? was there was a lot of like yeah weird things happening. So what like, were some huh. of the the stories that you'd heard, and did any of those happen to you? Uh, some guy went berserk and killed his whole family in that house. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, let's See, film there and yeah. stay the night. Exactly. Well, well, here's the thing: we we did not know that <laughs> oh, uh, until the day we were filming, and this this freaky old guy walked up to us and he's like why are you filming in that house and we're like uh it looks pretty scary and he's like i'll say oh, you know but yeah it was year, years ago maybe 10 years before that and it's a house that they rent out now um no one lives there wow yeah. they, okay do they tell people this when they rent it that somebody nope. killed his entire family they did in that house not. they <gasps> did not they did not you can that's Holy a that's crap. another movie all on its own <laughs> Big you time. go to film a, a big, horror movie in this house. They could really make that big marketing <laughs> thing for Halloween, though. Like to rent that house out. I bet a lot of people would do it. Yeah, so. but the rest yeah. of the year, nobody yeah, would. Well. Nobody want to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Filmmakers, how long were you there? Um, we shot. Uh, it's like uh, eight weeks. You uh, stayed but, in that but house it, for eight but, well, weeks. Well, it was uh, kind of a weekend thing. We'd go up on Fridays and Saturday, Sunday. It's kind of a weekend shoot. So. Yeah, there was a lot of. It seemed like there was. Well, at least in the trailer, there was a lot of like night scenes, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, um, lots so that, of that, and it was freezing cold. Uh, you know, it was it was tough to get through, through some of those night scenes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be that would be freaky, man. Filming a night scene in a haunted house. You know. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, that's that good. people died in and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have trouble with any of the actors, like, like really getting in that moment, or were they just freaked out by the house, or was that not an issue? At uh, all? These, God, I don't know. We got we got so lucky with this cast. Uh, they were. Yeah. How um, did you put them together? Uh, well, we of course you, the auditions. Sure. Um, one one of the cool things, my sister wrote this uh, this screenplay, and this is the first time we oh, worked really? together. Yeah, and she was really good at helping the audition process and uh, picking picking the cast. And the one cool thing about it is, of course, you you know the lead has to be the right lead, and this and that. But this town is filled with a bunch of weird freaks. Yeah. And so, <laughs> yeah, like no one's normal, and. So uh, the characters that she found, you know, just a terrific cast. Well, it's been the best project as far as that goes. Yeah, right. Yeah. And the great thing about horror films 
is that as, as seedy as you can get, or I guess as low budget as you can get, really adds to the genre and adds to the hor- the feel of yeah. the movie where you're sitting there and it's, you know, it's like being in a basement or something. It doesn't really cost too much, but it's so freaky yeah. that it probably you, works really well for what you're doing. These films, these horror films, and that's why we make them, they just, people can't get enough. You yeah. know, everyone loves horror films. Yeah. And, and it was it was cool to get the release date that we did. Um, Close you know, to Halloween? Yeah. Perfect time. We're, we got, uh, we're going up against uh, some pretty stiff stuff like Mirrors 2 yeah. uh, which is a straight to DVD um, I didn't see the first Mirrors I don't know if any of you guys have haven't seen it no yeah but it was good enough to make a sequel to go strictly to DVD so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah right what do you think about like you know now some of the horror movies are doing like 3D like Saw the new Saw movie it's 3D, the last yeah. Saw but it's in 3D yeah. do you think that's a uh, I've yet to see one you know they're like uh, last month I think it was Piranha yeah you know right. I think it is very trendy and um, there's a lot of it seems like every film is 3D now and uh, uh, well and with I, Saw it was like number 7 you've got to do something different at this point I guess. Yeah. it's basically the same storyline every they're, time and they're calling it the, the last Saw yeah. Are they? Yeah. Yep. Didn't they so. do that the Friday the 13th? Like, I'm sure they did. <laughs> yeah. It's the last saw until the next saw. <laughs> until the next one. Uh, we'll see how it does at the box office. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it seems like I'm not sure whether I, I that would be more scary or less. If I was doing a 3D, I would be really subtle with the effects instead of like in your face. And I, I think they do that now. Like the first film I saw was Friday the 13th uh, Part 3 years back right. in 3D. Right. Um, and it was just so in your face. You know. <laughs> it's, a gimm- hey, it's a gimmicky, you know. Very, yeah, very. Yeah. So I, I'm sure they've improved <laughs> since then. Um, but yeah, I would be. I would definitely take more of a subtle approach and just not so much in your face. Let it be unexpected. Sure, for sure. Now you've been making films for ten, ten years. Gosh, yeah. Well, okay, I guess it has been. And this is your new, uh, your new production company. Yes, Glass Pictures is new. Yeah, it's. I started my own kind of thing so i was with a company called lifeline entertainment for 10 years with a couple partners and uh we've all kind of branched away from each other and this is kind of a new venture and i'm starting with amherst and and then pretty soon we're gonna um start developing some new stuff that's great well congratulations job, man. man thank yeah. you Thanks and the packaging is amazing like i love this yeah yeah it's i really love this well i want to stick this in stockings you know, I want to buy these and put them like in for stockings. Christmas? Yeah, for Christmas. Christmas stockings. Are they perfectly? They fit right in the stockings. Yes. Do they make? Do they have stockings for Halloween? They should. They should have Halloween sexy little Halloween stockings. Oh, right? we didn't think about that. Well, thank you, Matt. Again, it's Amherst, and it comes out on October nineteenth. You can pick it up on DVD. Go check it out. It looks yeah. very, very scary. I want to know what the doll's all about, <laughs> and I want you to tell me where I can go to Big Bear to spend some time in this house. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Rocky's new film. Gina's got a new face. Jeff's got a new CD coming out. <laughs> it's a big month. It is. Jason's going to have right. some new cast members next week. New ca- yeah. <laughs> all right. We'll be back same time next week for LA Gen X. This is LA Gen X with Jason, Gina, and Jeff.